I'm Ava. Nice to meet you. Now we're going to tell each other some stories. I'm going to tell you some. You're going to tell me some. I'm going to start with a bit of a game. This is my favourite game in all the world. It's all about what you can see and what you can hear. Let me show you. Here's a picture. My mum took this. It's our dog, Nathaniel, in the garden. I look at that picture and I can imagine hearing Nathaniel barking. And there's that bird. Do you see? Right at the top of the bush. I bet he's tweeting. Or maybe he prefers Facebook. There's a lawnmower somewhere too. I can't see it, but I can hear it. Can you? And is that a fountain at the back? Far, far at the back? That must be very loud. I look at this picture and I can imagine all these sounds. So that's what I want you to do too. Look at a picture and tell me all the sounds you could hear if you were really there. Picture though, you know that picture. It'd be far too easy. Let's have a new one. A new photo with new sounds to tell me about. Lots of new sounds. So many that I'm going to give you a minute to write them all down. That's a countdown clock. I like countdowns. They make me race. Are you ready? Got your pen and worksheet? When I say go, I'll show you a new picture and I want you to write down three sounds. Three sounds you could hear if you were here. Ready? Go! Half a minute left, 30 seconds. Write down what sounds you'd hear if you were really there. Use my special learning worksheet. But I can tell you that I know that there are three sounds. Hmm, there might be more. And Stop. That was fun. How did you do? Would you like to see it one more time? Ready? Go! Half a minute left, 30 seconds. And Stop. I've got my list of sounds. Let's see how you did.
I'm going to show you the picture again, but this time with all the sounds I spotted. I was there. My mum took the photo, but I recorded the sounds on my phone. Let's see what we can hear. There were more than three sounds, weren't there? Did you hear more than three? I bet you found lots. What words would you use to describe this picture? Keep your own list of sounds too. Make sure you keep them safe. You're going to need them later. <laughs>Stay right there, vacuous, because I'm just hearing, yes, the Princess's aircraft. Uh, it's a, uh, they're saying it's a Boeing 777. Uh, will be with us here at Heathrow in just a few moments. Of course, they said that an hour ago. Back to Julie in the heated studio. Stay warm, Chris. Stay warm. That was Chris Holdsworth reporting live from Heathrow, with just some of the celebrity guests attending Princess Ida's wedding this afternoon. More on that shortly, but now the day's other news. Starting with the discovery, not only of a new island in the Atlantic, not only an entirely new tribe of people, but also of ancient treasure. Our Staffordshire Horde expert, Abigail Priest, reports. Thanks, Julie. Yes, it's been quite the find for history, archaeology, and now even biology.
You can open your eyes now. And I will tell you something. It was a man we heard moving about. His name's Peter McCluskey. But what did he do? Who is he? Where were we? This is what I think we heard. Well, stay right there, vacuous, because I'm just hearing, yes, the Princess's aircraft. Uh, it's a, uh, they're saying it's a Boeing 777. Uh, will be with us here at Heathrow in just a few moments. Of course, they said that an hour ago. Back to Julie in the heated studio. Stay warm, Chris. Stay warm. That was Chris Holdsworth reporting live from Heathrow, with just some of the celebrity guests attending Princess Ida's wedding this afternoon. More on that shortly, but now the day's other news. Starting with the discovery not only of a new island in the Atlantic, not only an entirely new tribe of people, but also of ancient treasure. Our Staffordshire horde expert, Abigail Priest, reports. Thanks, Julie. Yes, it's been quite the fight for history, archaeology, and now even biology. isn't he? But is he really a farmer, or is he pretending? Could he be undercover? I think he made breakfast for himself, but is that because he's alone? Could there be someone else there? I want you to do something special now. Do something for me. Remember that list of sounds you made? Get that out and add to it. Write down a list for me of who else could be at that farm. Who works at a farm? Who lives on one? Then keep it with your list of sounds for next time. 